What's up, everybody? In this video, we're talking about Diamond Eye. No, not mine. I'm talking about on the betas. <laughs> All right, so first things first, what is Diamond Eye? Um, so what it is, is it's when the betta scales will grow over their eye, kind of like an iPad. It doesn't always block their entire eye. It doesn't always block both eyes. Um, sometimes it'll do one eye partially or whatnot. I actually have two examples right here that I'll show you on two of the more common types. Most common types that you'll actually get it on are gonna be uh, the Platinum Dragon Scales, the Metallic Bettas, along with the Marble Bettas. Basically what it does is it's like, um, it doesn't necessarily cause Full blindness either over time it can typically you're looking months or years before it'll officially make them blind so the next thing is what actually causes them to develop this diamond eye um, basically what it is is it's a genetic trait that's bred through selective breeding to get fish like your platinum dragon scales or like your marble placats along with your metallics uh, like some aliens and stuff like that tend to get it as well and what it is is what it does is the scale will grow over their eye it doesn't physically hurt the fish in any way shape or form um, it doesn't like you know it doesn't really do much other than cause them to go blind over time and there's ways that you can work around that and kind of get them used to eating in particular places and stuff like that next thing is are, are there any treatments for this so as far as treatments there's really nothing you can do it is genetic there has been a few cases where people have done surgery and physically remove the scales from the eye that's not necessarily recommended as the fatality rate is very very high it's not really a risk worth taking there's better ways you can work around it now the tips to having a fish that has diamond eye there's many ways you can do like feedings and stuff like that like me personally these tanks have a nice little food gap here so they're used to me coming to the same spot every time I just wiggle my finger they, they associate the movement of the current along with my finger to know where the food is both of these fish will do that now there's other things you can do as well obviously like trying when you clean the tanks try not to move around too much or too quickly it'll cause them to panic and they can obviously jump out or you know hurt themselves smashing into something also don't rescape the tank too many times or too drastically i should say uh you know even when you're doing plant trimmings and stuff like that if you have a crazy garden tank and you cut everything down the bed is not going to know where it is um, which can cause problems obviously with them and stress. And, uh, the other thing I would recommend is a, a relatively low current as well as when you're you know doing your scape, try not to use too many things that are sharp or uh, rough and stuff like that. Just in case they do happen to panic, they don't get all sliced up. Other than that, let's take a look at these so you guys can get a close up and see what they kind of looks like as well. So you can kind of determine whether yours has it or not. So let's get a first shot view of kind of what it looks like here. If you look at Pennywise, you can tell he has it on both sides of his head, on both of his eyeballs. You can kind of see how his his eye almost looks milky. That is, is the scale is grown over the eye. You can see this eye does it as well. This one's definitely much worse than his other side. But yeah, that is what Diamond Eye is. It definitely hasn't affected him a whole lot other than he chases into stuff that's not there. And then you got Yandu over here has it very partial on this eye here, his right eye. Let's see if I can get him to turn around here. His other eye is a lot more blue. Now this is a marble placat betta. They commonly get diamond eye. And there you go. As you can see, he's got partial on this eye, but then the other eye is much, much more blue. There you go. Go into the light. Now, like I said, there's not much treatment you can do for it. Like I said, what I'll do is when I like feed them and such, what I'll do is I'll tap the top of the water up here and kind of encourage them to, you know, these guys definitely aren't very blind. They know when I feed them, but I do this anyway, knowing that they have it. That way they can, you know, I can make sure that if it gets worse, they already know where the food's going. But as you can tell, he's, he's definitely not as blind as this guy is. Pennywise here, he still knows where my finger is going, but, and he still knows when to eat, but he, you can tell he kind of aimlessly searches around a little bit. That pretty much sums that all up. It's pretty simplistic. It's just a genetic trait. Not much you can do about it. This guy here, when we, when we purchased him, he already had it. It was really mild. Yandu here, we've had for quite some time. His didn't develop until the past, I would say six months or so, give, give or take. We've definitely been, uh, 
you know, making sure they get fed in the proper locations just to make their life a little bit easier. Haven't moved around really anything. Um, definitely nothing sharp in either tank. So they are well prepared to live their best life as possible as I can give them. So and that's about it for today's video. If you guys got any more questions about it that I forgot to answer or something like that, feel free to shoot them down in the comments below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, definitely give us a subscribe. Uh, help keep the support and motivation going on our end. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.